Good morning everyone. Oh my god, it is Christmas day. Honestly, I've been so excited for this day for weeks now. And now that it's here, I really can't wait. The plan today is this. A couple of years ago, some of you who have been with me since like the early days, I think it was 2015. 2015, David and I decided we were gonna cook the Christmas dinner or lunch. For any of you chefs out there, you'll probably laugh and be like, yeah, I told you so, but we didn't quite realize how much hard work it was going to be. I ended up getting up at 4.30, 5 a.m. to put the turkey in, and then you have to leave it on and you have to get up a couple of hours later to, I can't remember what I did. I You have to get up twice anyway. Anyway, I did that and by the time everyone came over and I'd cooked everything, we were shattered. Anyway, thankfully this year, my brother and sister-in-law are very kindly hosting Christmas lunch and we're gonna go over there I think it starts at three. So my Christmas mornings, what do they comprise of? Well, it's 11 o'clock, I've got up late. David's taking a shower at the moment. We normally always eat, now I'm gonna go down the kitchen in a second, we normally always have, I think I've said, panettone, like this Italian cake bread thing, and I normally have it every Christmas morning. It's like a tradition, but because it's 11, and because I'm gonna be eating at three, I know that if I eat that now, <laughs> If I ate it earlier, it would have been fine, but if I eat it now, I know that I'm gonna get to lunchtime and I'm really gonna struggle. Trust me, I really want to enjoy my Christmas lunch. That is what I wait all year for, so I probably am not gonna do that. What else am I gonna do? I'm sat around the Christmas tree now, it's in front of me. Sorry, I know the light in here looks really weird. It's because I haven't got the lights on and it's a really rainy day today. We're just about to head out and I've got a new Christmas jumper. Now, some of you are going to see this a couple of times in the next few videos that you see. That is not because it's like the only thing I own. I got this yesterday, I tried it on yesterday evening, ended up wearing it for two videos that I filmed yesterday evening, and then my intention was to wear it today, and I quite like it, and it was very inexpensive. This is what I'm going with. So this top, I really like the sleeves on it, and it's so warm, it's really warm, even though it's got shorter sleeves, which I thought I wouldn't like. And then boots-wise, I've got on these, which keep sliding down. I've actually put on a bit of weight recently because I was, I think I told you that I was ill at the beginning of November. I had a chest infection. I had it for like three or four weeks and I couldn't move off the sofa and all I wanted to do was eat and everything is a little bit tight at the moment. The only thing I think we have to take is the hampers. So in our families, we don't actually give presents except for to the kids. We don't bother giving presents to each other. Everyone couple-wise gives to each other, like their spouses and things like that, but no one gives to everyone else because we've got such a big family. Very often each year, people would be, get given things that they didn't perhaps like and then you'd never see that item on them again. And in the end, everyone just agreed, let's not do this anymore. Let's spend the money on the kids, spend it on the day, spend it on the food and the drink. So that's now what we do. But this year, when we were shopping for each other, David and I felt like we wanted to give a hamper to each family. And we tried to get them in Harrods, but Harrods had sold out, so we made our own. And if you wanna see how we did it, I'm gonna to link to that video below. So if you wanna go and take a look at that, then it's actually quite a good gift idea because it ends up being like really bespoke. What is this one? Individually, 
I do, but you mix it all up. I don't mix it up. I take well, a bit sort of potato. <laughs> I take a bit of beef and I take a bit of veg and I eat it like that. Not. I have to eat the veg first, then move on to the next thing. Anyway. We did, yeah. It was really fun picking everything because we went to like an artisan supermarket type place. And like, for example, we know that your parents like organic stuff. Yeah. So everything in there is organic and everything in yours is chocolate, chocolate and alcohol. You can be in it. Go on, it's fine. Hello. You're very cute. We're just about to have Christmas lunch and um, we're serving at the moment. I really, I know I said this earlier, but I really hope everyone's having a really lovely Christmas day. I've been looking forward to this day for so long. We've got the turkey going on over here, which has been cut and we've got that on the table now. Hold on, Bob. Right, start it again. Okay. Out of all the toys, he's playing with this. Bernie! Come here. Sit. Good boy, Paul. No, again. This isn't working. Hey everyone, we've just got home. It's so cold outside. Well, it's cold, but it's sort of miserable and raining today. Anyway, sorry. Um, It is seven o'clock in the evening. I'm in no man's land now because we ate at about three, four o'clock. And I always get this on Christmas day because I think most of us tend to eat a bit later. And even if we don't, you always eat slightly more than you would normally. So it's like seven o'clock now. I'm not hungry by any means, but I I know that probably around about eight, which is when we normally eat dinner, I'm gonna have that thing where I said to David and he agreed, that point where you think, am I hungry or am I not? The plan for us now is I'm gonna go and take a shower, put on my pajamas. I'm then gonna watch some Christmas films. I need to edit this. I really hope that this video today has been entertaining. I've really tried my best with it and Christmas day has always been difficult because I don't film my family. They don't wanna be on YouTube sort of thing and so I try and film as much of the essence of it as possible without including faces. So I hope that you got the gist of it and you felt like you were there, even if it's just a little bit. Tomorrow is what I'm really excited about. I think I said earlier that Boxing Day, David and I decided a couple of weeks ago, normally on Christmas Day we see one side of the family and then on Boxing Day we see the other side and we normally rotate it year on year. This year we just saw everyone on one day, which made it actually really convenient. And that's meant that we have got tomorrow freed up and we wanted to do our own Christmas day where we get up in the morning, we have like a nice breakfast, we relax, we watch some TV. We basically don't leave the house and we are gonna open our presents then tomorrow as well. And that's gonna be our version of Christmas day that I can really film more properly for you to see. So come and check back for that tomorrow because that's gonna be actually quite good fun. I'm really looking forward to that already as it so happens. <laughs> 